everyone. This is Joanna, and today I would like to share with you my mash plates. Um, yeah, these are the ones that start with number 26. I'm going to be showing you these plates and then possibly um, demoing some of them. The color that I have on my nails that I am about to take off at some point today is the Essie Watermelon. I don't know if you can see that. Hopefully you can. But that is Essie's Watermelon. And this is not a new polish. I don't know if it came out um, a while ago. But it's kind of like a corally pink color. So the first plate that I have to show you is the MASH number 26. And hopefully you can see that pretty good. The next plate that we have is the MASH 27. And I'll just show you these because they are in the order. Um, from 26 through... I guess 50 something. And one of these I have used, you'll see that it's plate 42. I tried it out. I think there may be 20 or 25 of these plates. I haven't counted them, so I'm sorry about that. I just pulled them out of the packaging today, besides the one that I tried um, yesterday morning prior to work. you can see that. I'll try to go as quickly as I can so that I can show you um, how some of these stamp. So I've only tried the one. I have not tried the rest of these. So I'll be doing that on here with you all. And these plates also have a mixture of single images, tip images, and full images. I do like that bumblebee down there. I like that these plates have both the yin-yang symbol and the peace symbol. So you'll see the yin-yang symbol coming up. And this one has clouds. So if you like to do things with clouds, you don't have to try to draw those with a dotting tool. They're actually right there. This is the one that I tried. I tried this image up here and this one down here. So I do like this plate a lot. And here's the yin yang symbol.
So I'm guessing there are 25 plates here, and this is the last one. I like these circles right here. So I'm going to whip out my materials, and we're going to see how these plates stamp. I'm going to get my ace tone here. I'm going to clean off my stamper, because as you can see, it's been used. And we will start with this plate here. I think I'd like to try those lines and perhaps those circles there. And I'm going to be using my stamping polishes in Black Frost, White, and possibly Silver. We'll see. So, let's see. We'll go over this plate here. And we will try, I guess, the circles first. And again, as always, if there's ever any particular image on these plates you would like to see stamped, just let me know. Because I know sometimes when we look at these kind of videos, the things that we would like to see aren't always the things that are stamped. So we got that right there. Put that right there. That didn't do too bad. I worry, because I did wash my hands. Like I said before, I kind of like to stamp my polish as soon as it's dry because sometimes um, like when I've been doing things around the house I find that washing my hands and even trying to clean them off doesn't always um, transfer the same way because I'm getting the oils and things on my hands but I had to wait for the mail to come to bring me a Zoya package now this is this image here we'll try this across this finger here so that's pretty good. I like that. Almost looks like I stamped myself with a postal stamp um, device. So let's see. Let's try, I think, from this plate, one of these little single images here. I'm going to try to see if I can stamp that in the silver because this black is kind of messy. All black stamping polishes I find are messy. So I'm going to try to see if this No Place Like Chrome from Essie, see how that stamps. And we will try this little crown here. See what that does. And I'm going to try to put that crown over top of the little pinky finger that I just stamped. See how that goes. Okay. That took really, really well. Hopefully you can see that. Now, let's see. Let's try... This one, I'm going to try to stamp another finger in the silver. I think I'll try this one right here. And as I said before, I always go over the plate in the ace tone just to um, be sure that the surface is dry. And then when I'm completely done stamping and I'm cleaning my plates off, I will usually use a regular or a non-ace tone polish remover. It doesn't really make a big difference. It just doesn't leave the plate as, you know without the color and drying as the ace tone does. So hopefully you can see that. Okay. Now I'm going to close this one up. I'm going to shake up this white and we're going to try something with it. I think I'll try this image right there. And I don't really have a particular brand of Ace Tone that I like. I just get Ace Tone. I think the last time I had that large bottle from Target, I had three or four of those. This time I have an Ace Tone from Super Nail. Okay. I have my White Frost. I thought that didn't look as stark white. See, it kind of has a silver cast, and it's not as bright white. So this is the white pearl, which is not the one I want. I want this white one right here. So, let's see. There are some little hearts on this plate here. Let's try those. In the white that I thought I had. I like my white pearl, but when I don't want as stark of a white, and it's really nice, um, over the Sally Hansen Blue Away, if I stamp the same two flowers, one right side up and one upside down, in both the pearl white and the white, it gives a nice effect. 
Okay, these are the hearts, and I'm going to try to put these across the thumb here. And those took pretty good, except for my aim was kind of off. Now, I like to try, um, I think maybe those lines and this flower right here. So let's see. I'm going to try to do the lines because I'm kind of interested in line plates. I'll try those in white. See how that does. I think that's not a very good pickup right there. So let's try that again. Try that right here. Oops, sorry about that. Eh, it's kind of fuzzy. Clean this off. Okay. And I'm going to get a fresh pad after cleaning this off. I'm going to try to pick up that flower right here. And I'll just pick it up in black um, so that you can see it over top of the white. Let's see if this works. Okay, there it is, very clear. Not bad. Hopefully you can see that. Now I'm going to try to go for some of the more bolder images to see how they stamp. I'll try this one right here. And again, I will try that in this white. And then I'll also try um, some of the tip type patterns. That's not bad. Not bad at all. I would like to do that using like a lighter color and a darker color. Now, let's see here. I'd like to try this yin yang symbol here and see how that does. And since I did this in white, I'm going to try that in black. Because this was one of the symbols that I really liked when, um, so guess what, showed these plates and I couldn't remember which plate had it. Okay, picked up very nicely. Oh, very good. The whole circle took. Okay, now let's go through here. Let me see how many fingers I got left. Three. We're going to see how, um, let's see, how some of these tips do. I got one animal print there. There's even a bear paw. Let's see. Okay, here we go. Let's try that one there. I'll try to put this on the right way. I like to take these kind of tip things here and run them diagonally across the nail instead of most of the traditional ways. But we're going to try and see how that does. Now I got something else there, so I'm going to try not to get that on the nail. Okay, so there's a French tip there. And I didn't get it all the way over here because of whatever I got on there, I stopped. But that's not bad. And with this white, I could do this over clear. So let's see, here's another. 
Or we'll try. Let's try. Here's a fine tip. Let me see. These leaves. That's a really kind of a fine tip. So we'll try that. Because I would like to take something like these and actually have a white French tip and then stamp these in colors. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try this one on the thumb. Okay, there we go. And that went all the way across. Alright, now I'd like to try, I think... This planet right here. See how that does. I think I'll pick it up in black if I can. And I'll put it... Uh, I'll try it somewhere on here. Okay. Picked up very nice. Okay, and that took really, really good. Hopefully. You can see that. Now, I want to try this animal print because I really like how this zebra looks. So, we'll try that on this little finger right here using this end of the stamper. Since there's not a lot of room there. But I really like... Um, a lot of the animal prints. I like that different plates have different zebras. Because I really like the one on the Bumble Monster second set of plates. Okay, there's that. Now let's see. Huh. That's more or less me. But not bad. Let's try one more of something. Maybe this little gated looking thing here. I'm going to try that on top of this here. We'll see. And I'm also going to do that in black. So that it can show up. And this black frost, like I said, I kind of like this. Except for the fact that it would always fade. I think when I tried it over my green, it didn't fade. But that was a first. And there's... If you can see that. So that that stamps really nice. This would make a nice background to something. Just that black and then maybe some flowers or something on top. So I have run out of fingers. And again, these were the mash plates. And I believe there's 25 of these. Um, I think it was numbered from like 26 to 50. And that's all I have for today. So if there's any other of these plates that you would like to see me stamp, just let me know. And these are all over YouTube as well. I really like them. And I do have, I think, two more cheeky sets to come back and show you at some point. So until the next time, everyone have a great day.